Hi everybody, Elisa here from Lama Unravel Crochet. I just wanted to pop in for a quick video. Uh, just a question for you, something I wanted to share, and then also I did start on that baby blanket and I am loving the way it came out. And I can't wait to show you what stitch I ended up going with. So let's start with how can I help you? As some of you know who have been following me for a little bit, I'm a math person. I enjoy doing math. I like to make my gauge swatch, figure out how much yarn the gauge swatch required, and then I use that to figure out approximately how much yardage I need to make the project I am working on. I love doing that. My husband's an engineer and I've had him check my math and he does not like doing that. He thinks I'm crazy, but that's okay. I enjoy it. So I would like to know, are there math questions you have? Is there some kind of math related problem you have when it comes to crochet that I can help you with. I have been making swatches and trying to figure out exactly how many inches each stitch requires. Then if you want to make a baby blanket out of a, uh, let's see, out of the, the waffle stitch or maybe C2C, something like that, you can look and be like, okay, it requires, I don't remember the number off the top of my head, but say it requires nine inch for one block on C2C, and I wanna make a 10, or uh, 100 by 100 block blanket. Well, then that 100 by 100 would be a thousand times the nine inches per block would get you 9,000 inches you would need. Now, I probably didn't do that math quite right off the top of my head, but that's the kind of thing that I like to do, and I can help you if you would like help with that. Um, I also like to calculate how much yardage I use when I make my gauge swatch, and then I use that to figure out how, approximately how many yards I need to make my shawl, my blanket, whatever I'm making, and then I add a skein or two to it, and that's how much I order. So if you have any math questions, please comment down below and see if there's anything I can help you with. Now I do have a video that I shared approximately how many inches it takes to do single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet. Um, and there's a couple other stitches. The um, how, What the yardage difference is between a granny solid granny square and a regular granny square. And then I also, in both those videos, I share approximately how many yards you would need to make a 30 by 36 by 36 inch baby blanket and a 60 by 60 inch adult blanket. So that would just be an approximate yardage. Just to give you an idea if you're looking through your stash to see if you have enough yard yards or if you're ordering more. So let me know, comment down below, what do you wanna know about math? Now, next thing, I started that baby blanket and I'm loving it and I cannot wait to give it to them. Now, Waffle Stitch lately has been my favorite, but I, found a new one and I am excited. I cannot wait to show this to you. Look at that stitch. Is it upside down? So this is kind of like the waffle stitch, but it's V stitch, like almost like a cluster V stitch, but raised like a waffle. There is a tutorial for this by Creative Grandma and I'll put a link down below for that tutorial, but I cannot wait. The, the blanket is so squishy. If you've made the waffle stitch, you know how it has that like thickness to it, but it's kind of squishy too. That's what this has, but it's just a different look and it's so pretty. Let me show one more time. A lot of focus. Okay. Struggling today. Boop. How pretty is that? So I'll keep you updated how I do with that blanket. I'm hoping to work that one up pretty quick. Um, this was only a few hours of work this morning and I will hopefully get some more done on that in the next few days. Oh, I have a visitor. Look who's here to say hi. Say hi. He's like, yeah, I'm not having it. <laughs> There's no one here bothering me and I'd like you to put me down too. Okay, so next thing. Lion Brand did something at the end of April. I believe it was like, it was April 30th. They did something called Stitch Around the World where they tried to get as many people as they could into a Zoom call and it was all knitters and crocheters that were crafting, working on projects while they were on the Zoom call. And they tried to create the largest Zoom call of crafters 
I think they got pretty close. They got in the high 700s, maybe 800, something like that. And they called it a stitch around the world. And you had a cool background that looked like it was string. So it was supposed to be from person to person. The string is going all around the world. I thought that was pretty cool. And then after that, they had a contest. And you submitted, uh, it could have been a blanket. Uh, there was a cardigan, uh, a wearable one. There was a bunch of different uh, categories. I submitted a blanket to that. Um, I don't know if, I don't know what they picked, but I did submit a blanket. So, I'm, but I'm either way, I'm excited to see who actually won that contest. And tomorrow is when they will share the winners of that. And they're going to do another Zoom. Now, so there's two ways you can watch this. You can go on Zoom and join in the Zoom and be one of the crafters that's crafting around the world with your background. Or you could just turn on Facebook Live on Lion Brand's uh, website, or not website, Lion Brand's Facebook page, and they'll have a live stream of the Zoom. So you can join the Zoom call and you, you could do it that way, or you could also just watch it live on Facebook and they will share the winners of that contest. And there'll be a lot of people there crocheting and knitting all together. Everyone will be stitching together around the world. And I think that's pretty cool. I think that's awesome that with everything going on, we're able to still do that together and enjoy our company. Well, I'll be watching that. It's either, uh, I think they're gonna post the link if you wanna join the Zoom on their Facebook page, or you could just watch it live on their um, Facebook page. It'll also be broadcast, and that's tomorrow, Sunday. I don't know today's date. And it is June 14th, Sunday at two. So you want to catch that and join. I will be there um, crocheting with everyone else. And let's see who joins. And there'll be people there from all over the world. And we'll all be stitching together. Have a great day.